All right, welcome back. Today's video on Americans, or expats rather, living in Tijuana, Playas area, Rosarito. Um, this is a story I'm very interested in because it is a story that I've had experience with. I've observed lots of behavior and I think that Tijuana, similar to Las Vegas, <clears throat> until recently, you couldn't really talk many people into moving to Tijuana. Why? Because of the obvious. All the... shock and the stories that surround it. Me personally, I've had a lot of pretty good experiences in Tijuana overall. Just the whole experience has been positive. Everything from getting some medical help to cheap ranch, cheap tacos, and of course, beach treated to the same weather that is shared by San Diego. So there are many Americans that uh, have moved to Tijuana. Clearly, from when I was there, there's definitely a lot more Americans there. Even when I went in the Starbucks... The same as it is in San Diego, all the outlets were turned off to try to help shield itself from all the expats and foreigners trying to suck a little bit of internet out. Because even when I was there, there wasn't a seat available in Starbucks. No one had, um, you know, any coffee in front of them. Maybe 20% had coffee in front of them, but everybody was on their cell phone. And just foreigners. I mean, these are foreigners. I'm not going to go into what specific type of foreigner they were, but... All foreigners. And this helped keep seats available because, of course, when they run out of battery, they move on. New coffee houses slash workplaces have sprung up. Some of them really nice. And my experience going back there, Tijuana hasn't changed a whole lot. The same fixtures and people almost living in the same areas and places that I remember still are there. And this is the, the best information about Tijuana that you can really get. Either you are going to love it, stay, try to stay. Make connections to make the stay even cheaper. There are, there are still value to be had, but it's not in the crossing to an Airbnb existence. Crossing the border to work. Trying to lower expenses. Staying over in the U.S. for a couple days. Strategically trying to work the situation. And this is why most people are in that immediate area. Is to cross the border. Many of these same Americans. Have gotten. Involved with. Things. That. Uh. You know, people want to cross. I'm aware of many 
Everything down to even auto parts, shoes, people, uh, the whole ecosystem is about crossing. If you're not crossing, there's almost no reason why you would live in that immediate area. It is an, an interesting experience. Um, it is almost, almost lawless. That being said, there was definitely a presence Lots of federalities, lots of police in the area trying to combat the problems. I purposely don't go into the problems because I think that Tijuana does get a bit of a bad rap. A bit. The place is booming, just like Las Vegas. The similarities are interesting. You couldn't talk somebody into moving to Las Vegas. Now there's Oakland A's are moving to Las Vegas. Um, Las Vegas is receiving this surge. The benefactor of all of this push because of the cost involved in California. California is my home. I was, of course, being in Tijuana, almost becoming a suburb of Southern California. It's been there my whole life. Um, my parents went to Tijuana. My dad went to Tijuana. Uh, we've went to Tijuana. You know, the attraction in Tijuana was, of course, the surf, Mexico. The empty waves coming in. And then, of course, that started to change into more trying to, oh, there's no way you could really move to California unless you have a pretty deep pockets or you're just dying for punishment so to speak I can't uh, I can't even imagine I do know people that still live there to this day But that also is in the news, of course. The expense is high. So these people look to Tijuana. It's unfortunate, really, like the, the Americans that really get sucked in. I mean, I knew... A lot of Americans, and of course, like I said, if you love Tijuana, you will stay. But every every person that goes down there that's a foreigner to the United States, forever is a very long time. I know people that their final day was in Mexico. They, uh, they didn't come back, even... Danny knows people that have, you know, passed away over in Mexico. But this, again, was uh, no different than all the other times I was down there. But uh, 
things that's pretty much all I have to say about that. Catch you on the next video.